Hey howdy hey partners, today we have the brand new Lightyear Recruits to the Rescue set. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. Super excited to be back again with this special edition from Target exclusive only. It is a Lightyear Recruits to the Rescue set. I really like it that you get all four figures, including Buzz, even though we have gotten this one. The one bonus is it comes with a helmet, which I do like. It comes with socks and a laser blade, so that's always a fun bonus. I do like the backdrop. I really like that for display, and uh, we'll get a better look at it once we get out of the box. But it's really cool to have Izzy, Mo Morrison, and Darby in their original suits and they later had also the ranger alpha suits too but they're in this cool packaging like armadillo ship which is cool looks like a exhaust in the back and back here it says recruits to the rescue has all the helmets as well that can be put on the characters heads but this is a really massive package um i think it was on sale right now at target for 27.99 so it was a really good deal and i think when they first came out they were about 40 dollars so not too bad, but it's a really cool style box art packaging. And if you want to keep it in the box, it looks good too. Let's open them up, get a closer look. First of all, I want to say, wow, the background looks really cool. I'm going to redo my uh, Lightyear shelf display to actually integrate this as a backdrop because I think it'll look really cool to put maybe the armadillo vehicle that I want to get later on and uh, put it with this backdrop as well as some extra Ranger Alpha suits that I have. Uh, so I'm really excited to show you that. But first, let's look at the figures a little closer. First off, we have the standard Buzz figure that comes with socks and the laser blade. I like the hole here on the side to holster the blade if you want to. And it's it's pretty standard Buzz. At least we still have the Space Ranger logo here on this side, nothing on the other side. And it's a cool figure. It's something that we've seen already before, but it's nice that they threw it in the set with the socks figure. Nothing new or special about this. Same as the one that came with the training suit 5 inch buzz. So it's still cool that it comes with it and I do like that. Next we got Izzy Hawthorne, really cool. Limited articulation because of the hair sculpt, but you know, it's the hairstyle, can't really change that. Looks really cool though. I do like that the back can holster the weapon right here. Goes right in the back, which we see in the movie like that. So that is pretty cool. I really like the shoulder pads here, really cool on the figure. She does have limited range of motion because of that, and it doesn't allow her to swing out her arms, but it does swing out the elbow joint, so that's pretty good. And I do like the detail of the belt, the armor. Really cool, true to the film, has peg holes on the bottom. Very cool figure, I really like it. It does look like Izzy Hawthorne to me. Really cool and a really great figure. Nice that it comes with the gun accessory, and you can also holster it, so pretty awesome. And I really like this. And it's really cool that Mattel released this because in a pack, because now we don't have to hunt the figures, we can get them all in one shot. Izzy also comes with a helmet, which is pretty cool. It's just a hollow piece of plastic, a little flexible, fits over her head like this, which is cool. And there we go, just like the movie, Izzy has her complete outfit with the helmet, which actually looks pretty cool and futuristic. So I do like the helmet accessory and it looks awesome and I'm glad that it's removable as well. So that is a pretty cool detail to the figure. This really does look like Mo Morrison from the movie. Nice uh, head sculpt there, very skinny, kind of like a skinny guy. I really like the armor here. I like that he has the options to swing his arm out like this. Very cool, I like that a lot. A lot. He has his harpoon style weapon that also fits here and is removable. I do like that option that you can holster it or have him carry it. And then the rest of his suit is really great. Looks like the film, love the belt. I love the, the design of his costume. I think it looks really good. And then he also comes like Izzy, a helmet that goes over his head, which is pretty nice. And I do like it. This suit wasn't really seen too much in the movie. Uh, it was seen in the beginning of it, but it's cool to have it and I really like it. Here we have Darby Steele, the grumpy old woman. She's actually pretty funny and sarcastic. I do like it as a steel here on the chest. That is something that we are missing with the other characters for whatever reason. I don't know why. It comes with this really cool blaster that we see in the movie. Didn't come with any like attachments or anything. It's kind of hollow there. 
but it is a pretty cool accessory to have. Uh, Darby is the shortest one in the bunch. Really cool outfit though, love the belt details. I just wish that the other characters came with a nameplate like, you know, we have on Darby here. So, really like the head sculpt. Uh, looks really good. I think it's very true to the character. One of my favorite characters now in the 5 inch line is this Darby Steel. Which up until this point I think is only available on this Target exclusive pack because I have not seen Darby for sale individually yet. Now today I grew up we like to mod things and I went to Target and these guys were on sale for five bucks so I bought a bunch of the suits so I got some gator grips took the buzz heads off and now I have like the movie the Ranger Alpha suits for our characters here and I realized that if you're very careful you can pop the heads off and probably put them on these suits just like the movie so we're gonna try to do that for fun now we have our characters in the Ranger Alpha suits custom mod these figures are definitely not released yet I hope in the future we do get these but you know I had to basically pop the heads off luckily the heads weren't too hard to pop off uh, the only problem now is with these uh, modifications the heads aren't really well in there but if you put the helmet on them it keeps the head in place from falling off of their bodies basically uh, so if you shake them around they won't fall but I thought that was a really cool like kind of mod to do because you know we don't have the toys yet that I want which are these and obviously the height is weird because Darby's supposed to be really short and uh, Mo Morrison's supposed to be really tall so that, that is definitely something that you can tell is off about this. But I still think it's really neat and really fun. And I could always pop the head back on to the body if I want to. So I'm not really concerned about that. So I'm going to kind of rearrange this display and show you what another great idea is. This I feel is a cool display idea. You have the characters kind of looking at the hall of Ranger Alpha suits. Kind of like in the movie scene when they walk in and Buzz is like, why is there more of my suits here? And the recruits are like, well, we can wear them to help you <laughs> on your mission. So that is pretty cool. And I really like this. And I definitely am going to rearrange things on my shelf to kind of reenact this scene because I think it looks really cool. And it's, a, it's just a creative idea I come up with. And I think it looks awesome. And to get the helmets on these other ones, because they don't come with helmets, I got some extra helmets from my extra 5-inch figure line because I did, do have a lot of 5-inch buzz. And that's why I was able to complete the dome shield for all of them. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of my awesome light year display idea. I think it's super cool and obviously once I get the armadillo ship I might rearrange these figures a different way on the shelf but I think it's a really neat shelf display idea and I can't wait to rearrange my shelf to accommodate this scene because I think it's really cool and it's nice that I was able to pop the heads off put them back on without ruining them so that worked out for me. I ju you just have to be very gentle. I used a cloth to cover their head make sure I don't scratch it up. I use these gator grips, I call them. So I was very gentle and I was very careful. I don't recommend this mod to everybody uh, if unless you know what you're doing, but I definitely uh, had fun and it's cool that the heads were able to pop off. But I know in the future, I'm sure they're gonna release these guys in the true scale because that is the only flaw of changing the head swaps is their their height scale gets all even like buzz which is not true to the movie but that's a very minor detail and i still love it and i think it still looks really cool to have the the suits on display like the movie but without the heads so i don't need those extra buzz head sculpts because i have this buzz and many other buzzes right now as always partners thank you so much for watching liking and commenting on these videos it really helps support what i do on youtube if you'd like to join me on this journey all you have to do is hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell see you later for future videos on this channel and i'll see you partners on the next video review you want the real buzz like you you're a, no, you're an action figure you are a sad 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 strange little man you are a Sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything! Hey, Ham! Look, I'm Picasso! I don't get it.